Welcome back, my friendly friends, to more Persona 5 Tactica. Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, we managed to escape with our lives. Well, three of us did. But now we're going to find out what exactly is going on. Maybe. The dire state of things. So, not sure if this is going to be like, maybe a confidant sort of scene. So you and your friends are friends. Yeah, and we're still not really sure what's going on with Arena either. I have to admit, that's rather hard to grasp. This world's the only one I've ever known. On top of that, you're also telling me you're thieves who steal hearts. And you just stumbled into this world? Huh, immediately trusting her with our... S well, I guess it doesn't really matter at this stage because we've already exposed ourselves to her, so... <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Believe me, we're in the same boat here. I'm mostly wondering who runs LeBlanc here. All of a sudden, we were surrounded by Marie's forces, and you had to rescue us. We really have no idea what's going on. Well, we can try to hash it out later. Uh, Morgana and you. You? They couldn't even replace it with the- okay, well, whatever. It's my turn to answer questions. Feel free to ask away. All right. So, why did you rescue us? Why? You two were in trouble, so I had to help. Oh, okay. Well, hey. So she's a good. Uh, she's a pretty good dude then. Even if it meant getting caught, those guys already had it out for you. It speaks a lot to her character. And I admit, I was already considering recruiting you to our cause. There it is. So she was scoping things out before she jumped into the fray and liked what she saw. I'd never seen anyone go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie's forces before. Not that well, anyway. We did well? <laughs> but 90% of us got captured. We'll certainly take the compliment. But you were the real star back there. Thanks again, Arena. It was a pretty big gamble on my part, but I'm definitely glad it paid off. Yeah, we all could have gotten caught. So, anything else? Yes, actually. Who is Marie? Yeah, she said this was the Rebel Corps' hideout, didn't she? Marie is strong enough that it'll take everyone in the city to stop her. I, okay, and I'm sure she's definitely just the first boss, so... I wonder if we're gonna do like a do like a Japan world tour once we've gotten her dealt with. That's why I founded the Rebel Corps. I've served as leader ever since. She started it, okay. As the one who inspired the citizens here to fight, it's my job to see that Marie no longer enslaves them. Fair enough. Well, you certainly have a good reason to be considered a criminal, huh? If Marie is to be considered the le uh, like the authority of this place, then yeah. Pretty impressive, Arena. Huh. Well, our current win record certainly isn't impressive. Considering the fact that there's nobody but her here, yeah. It seems like they might have all gotten caught. There are so few of us left now. We're basically an army in name only. When your enemies get right back up, there's only so much you can do. That's true. Right. The best we can do now is lay low here and look for gaps in their defense. So, was there anything else? And lastly, who is Marie? She's a ruthless tyrant who fancies herself the ruler of these parts. Mm, I don't know. It seems like she's got the power and ability to back that up. This used to be a peaceful place, free of any sort of conflict. Then, Marie appeared, and everything changed. Okay, so she kind of came out of nowhere then. She declared that the entire city and all its citizens were now her property. With her invincible soldiers leading the way, she quickly seized full control. Invincible soldiers? You mean... Those guys who attacked us? I was hoping she was just being poetic, but <laughs> yeah, imagine rebelling against people who can't, like, even their goons can't be defeated. Yes, we've taken to calling them legionnaires. 
I'm sure you saw for yourselves. Not only are they incredibly strong, but all we can do is knock them out. They're always back on their feet all too soon. Okay, so they're not like corrupted townspeople then. I thought that's where this was headed, but clearly not. No matter the tactics we try, they're seemingly invincible. Uh, that's close enough. Tactics, Tactica, same thing. She, she did the title. She dropped the name. Maybe there are shadows of some kind. Only personas can put down a shadow. No wonder you didn't stand a chance. She's got a persona. We were able to use her partisan skill. Shadows? Personas? They've probably been calling them something different. Whatever those may be, I knew you had solid intel on the enemy. Anyway, after Marie showed up and declared that this was her kingdom, now she brainwashes anyone she can find, then uses them up until they're nothing. Okay, so we had palaces, then we had jails, now we have kingdoms. Anything else you'd like to ask? So, I understand that Marie is doing whatever she pleases in this world. But do you know if she has a goal? If she's going through the effort of enslaving everyone, it has to be for some reason. <sighs> oh, she actually does know then. The perfect wedding. Really? It looked like she's all okay. I guess she's not already married. The perfect wedding. She wants to get married. Yes, Maria is in a perpetual state of preparing her wedding. It's become her single obsession by this point. It always needs to be more, no matter the pain it may cost. Can't say I expected that. Yeah. It's over the top, but I guess in a spin-off game, it's uh they're not going to be able to and especially because we're like an hour into the game, they're not going to be able to give her like the craziest thing ever, but still pretty silly. Her own legionnaires, the citizens she captured, even your own friends are all forced to prepare her wedding. She was even able to command them to build her that tank with the premature message on the grill. Okay, cuz I'm sure that's like just married. Marie sounds like a real threat. She's self-centered enough to sacrifice everyone around her for her own desires. And if she's as powerful as she seems, then everyone's in real trouble. Oh, we need to act fast. Okay, so, so far we've got basically all the information we need. I'm wondering if there's going to be random encounters. We ran around the town and it didn't seem, it seemed like that was basically just one long map. We'll see, we'll find out. Well, now that we've got a grasp on things, let's figure out our next course of action. Uh, let's, let's put a stop to Marie. That would definitely do the most good, but there are still too many unknowns. So long as Marie still has the others under her control, they're basically her hostages. About that, I have a suggestion. So, she's got an idea to free them, then. You two want to free your friends from Marie and escape this metaverse. And I want to take Marie down so nobody has to live under a tyrant anymore. Right. Looking good so far. With that in mind, I think we should join forces. Would you be willing to join the Rebel Corps if I were to help you on your rescue mission? Yes, but you would be joining us, though. I see. In other words... She wants to become a confidant of ours. You want to make a deal, right? How about it? I wonder what her arcana is. It'll definitely be a brand new one. That seems to be the, uh... That seems to be the, uh, commonality with the spinoffs. This brings back memories. Get through situations as bizarre as these without making a few new accomplices. Not only do we need to rescue our friends, but we need to figure out how to get back home, too. I'd say the more of us, the better. And she seems pretty capable, too. Yeah, she was very helpful. We talked it over, and it's unanimous. You've got a deal, Arena. Excellent. Then it's a deal. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. First things first, 
I officially deem you two members of the Rebel Corps. So, with that said... Is she gonna give us access to some facilities? Welcome to the Resistance, comrades. C comrades? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go with that for now. Party received two GP. So, I wonder if GP is gonna be like Bond. She probably calls you Nakama in the Japanese version because comrades makes a lot of sense for her to refer to us as and Morgana freaked out about the hideout. The hideout is your safe place in this world. There are various ways to prepare for battle here as well as the option to converse with allies. Save your progress. We already know how to do that. So let's open the prep menu. Skills. Strengthen your units by acquiring skills found in each character's skill tree. This is a departure. Growth points, GP, are used to acquire skills in the skill tree. You earn GP when your Phantom Thieves level increases, or sometimes when you engage in conversations found in the talk menu. If a unit has enough GP to acquire a new skill, an exclamation point will be shown next to the available GP of the unit in the unit selection screen of the skills section in the prep menu. Be sure to regularly check for new skills to acquire. Uh... Morgana has seven move? Whoa, skill tree controls. Acquire a skill by placing the cursor over the skill you desire and pressing X. You can undo this by pressing X again, which will refund the GP used to acquire this skill. And there's probably going to be like a lock-in mechanic. If you would like the game to handle the skill acquiring for you, simply press options. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, So we can... Wait! I thought skills meant like movement plus one or something like that, but this is how you acquire new attacks? So each persona will probably... The Great Thief, Nocturnal Wings, a Rebellious Resolve. So he has three different, slightly restores SP when user is in cover. It grants us the passive Soul Repose. Okay, so these are skills we can add on to the Persona then. Trump card. If HP falls below 50%, recover some HP and increases damage of next attack. That's fairly cheap though, but that's probably because this is all of our all of our initial persona stuff. Maega own. Hmm. And a medium area and inflicts despair. Slightly increases damage of Aha skills. Acquire Raku Kaja. Hmm. Let's Hmm. Let's do slightly restoring our SP. Okay, so Mona, Zoro the Masked Bandit, Sword of the Incognito, a Rebellious Resolve. For him, not enough GP. I think we'll actually hang on to his GP until we can get Dia. And now Arena, who has no code name, which is fine by me. I'm not a uh, acquire partisan, and that can inflict forget. Great partisan, shining partisan. She'll, I'm sure she'll acquire a persona before too long because those skills don't follow the naming conventions. But let's go ahead and have her acquire Shining Partisan so that she can attack groups. Alright, well, I think all this is probably going to be fine. The dire state of things. So there's nothing else new to say. This will progress the story. Yeah, let's progress the story. So, we... Okay, so is this gonna be like some... Well, it sounds like a complete nobody, but... We've so far got it. Morgana hasn't changed, but we'll be able to attack more often. And Arena is gonna be able to uh, attack more enemies. So, we're going wide for right now. Hey, what's with him? 
A new mascot? Okay. What is this thing? <laughs> no need to have at anyone. You can stand down. These are our new comrades. That's I don't think they've ever actually done this before. Introduced another mascot? I guess what's her name was the mascot for the well whatever. I don't even want to get into it. Just fill him in on our situation later, Arena. You were out on recon, right? Find anything? Does this guy have a name? Correct, Captain. And your intel was right on the mark. Multiple unknown individuals are being held in the prison near Maria's castle. Looks like we're about to get our first rejoins. I'm not surprised that Maria sees you and your compatriots as a threat. Despite being brainwashed, her more powerful puppets usually get locked up and not used. Is she afraid they're gonna turn on her or something like that? We won't know for certain whether or not these are your friends unless we see for ourselves. Let's go find out then. Right. Time for me to start upholding my end of the deal. If we really did find your friends, they could give our forces a solid boost when we spring them. Alright. We'll head out once you've rested up. We're plenty rested. We're ready to go now. I'll drop a plan of attack. Okay, so she's taken up the uh Man, I didn't expect us to get beat as badly as we did. That was incredibly surprising, I can't lie. Something weird's going on. Our power's not working like usual really held us back there. Oh, okay. Right, because uh somebody mentioned that we're in a uh December basically after everything's wrapped up chronologically, so Normally, we're at about in our mid-70s level-wise, so Mona is definitely complaining about being level 5 again all of a sudden. Maybe the metaverse just works differently here? Why not? Well, it's no use thinking about it now. Yep, it is what it is. Plus, we've got Arena helping us out with that now. Hopefully, she comes up with a strategy that... Honestly, Arena is my, uh... Arena is so far my f oh, well second favorite uh, Persona follow-up game character after Metis. Metis was really awesome. Hopefully, with Persona 3 Reload re uh, releasing, we'll get answer DLC and more people will be able to see how cool she is. But Arena is definitely second right now. Head and shoulders above, oh my god, so many other follow-up girls. Oh. Judging by the opening, instead of doing a... Well, Caroline and Justine wouldn't make any sense here, so Lavenza seems to be inviting us. A blue butterfly floated, pla uh, floated past us and faded away. Where it vanished, there's now a familiar-looking door. The blue Ooh. door? Don't tell me. So, this is a... Uh, we can't go upstairs. Okay, well... Is it different somehow? Yeah. Let's go through it. She might be able to tell us what's going on. At the very least, she'll have our backs. Okay, yeah, this is definitely after Yaldabaoth, because they know who she is. Well, Morgana knows who she is. Oh, okay. And the little dudes, they're just there, and we're just watching them interact. Velvet Room, Replay Quest Report Shop. Okay. Velvet Armory Limited. Whoa! It looks totally different in here now. There are a bunch of machines all over the place. What happened? So instead of the Velvet Room being a prison, now it's an armory. It's been a while. <laughs> well... A very short while, I suppose. Welcome to the Velvet Room. So Lavenza's a blacksmith now? This realm exists between dream and reality, between mind and matter. 
Still not trying to recast Igor, I see. But Lavenza's more marketable, I guess. It appears you've suffered quite the ordeal. Miss Lavenza. What are you doing here? Cause yeah, do I know you? They're not they're not bothering to explain who she is. I'm not sure why you would start with this particular game, but it's I mean, if you don't know who she is, she'll probably re-explain it, but we don't need to do that. This place has been affected by the same guidance of fate as that which has claimed yourselves. And this guiding hand must be wielded by a being with significant power. So basically, definitely not Marie. However, I do not know which being is responsible, nor their intentions. All I can say for certain is that our current situation deviates greatly from the natural course of events. I admit that my carelessness led to being caught in this aberration and pulled from my master's side. Okay, so Igor is not here because he's out there. All right, well, whatever. Oh, it got you too, Miss Lavenza. Whoever this being may be, they are also responsible for the chaotic state of this room. I don't know. It looks pretty slick. It's as if some force of negation has infected this place. This force has unfortunately affected you all as well. Deepening the issue you currently face. So the same power that pulled us in here is the same power that reduced our level is I think what she's getting at? I see. So that's why we couldn't summon our personas like usual. This woman named Marie called the place a kingdom or something. And you know what's crazy? We probably had a whole bunch of uh personas in our stock that just aren't here for that reason. Whatever it is, it sure is weird. Then I will henceforth refer to that realm as a kingdom. Yep, called it. This kingdom is a world disparate from Mementos and the other palaces. And, right, no mentions of jails because chronologically that happens after this. I do like that pers uh, the Persona games all keep to the same continuity. I really enjoy that aspect of the series. The franchise, rather. Unfortunately, returning will be no easy feat. We would each be stuck here for eternity were we to simply wait. So, and again, this is why the shadow operatives aren't going to show up and save the day. Not that they really seem to care what was going on in one of the biggest cities in Japan, but whatever. We won't be doing that. Right. We've never given up before, and we're not starting now. We're going to rescue the others and get us all the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I expected as much from you. This realm, sealed off from all other realities, there is still much to learn. Right, I'm really curious as to how Persona Fusion works here. However, so long as you have the will to overcome this ordeal, I will spare no effort to aid you. We appreciate that. I am the one who rules over power. To draw out the potential lying dormant within you, I shall reprise my role for you in this place. As I had previously explained, this room has suffered from a grave disturbance. Is she going to tell us how we can get more personas? Apologies, but would you mind taking your leave? I vow to tidy up the place before your next return. No, she is straight up kicking us out. Okay, bro. We're counting on you. Indeed. I wholly believe that you can do this, Trickster. Morgana, I leave him in your care. And I'll be sure not to let you down, Miss Lavenza. By the way, that outfit. Was that also the mysterious being's fault? I, at first, I assumed that it was, but since he's bringing it up, she'll probably say that she just found it or likes it or something. The Elizabeth vibes, they're inescapable. What do you think? Does it suit me? Oh my god, she's going all out. But yeah, sure, why not? Uh, uh... 
Does it suit me? <laughs> Does it suit her, Morgana? Does it? Yeah. Uh, looking cool. That pleases me to hear that. She reminds me of, uh... Of the, uh... Blacksmith... From Extra and Odyssey 4. The Lady Boner Harder Than Steel Girl. Well then, please visit me anytime you need through the door in the hideout. Don't remember her name though. We shall meet again soon. I just remember the like uh, one of the things that sticks out is the ugly font from that game, but that's neither here nor there. So. No clue how to make more personas just No clue how to make more personas just yet, but that'll sure come in due time. We still need to settle the issue about our weapons. What to do? It'll only get more difficult using what we have now. Hmm. What to do? Ah. Everyone, I bring some good news. A short while ago, a person wearing a strange mask appeared and asked for this to be delivered to you promptly. Somebody... There's really no one I can think of who that could possibly be. It's got to be somebody new. Someone in a mask wants to give us something? Whoa. Hmm? Wait, these are weapons. Ah, uh, a note came with it. I believe it's addressed to all of you. Let me see that. It says... Dear all, I have a solution regarding your current situation. I believe you are wondering how you may acquire additional weapons. However, the types of weapons you need are special, ones that operate based on the cognitive nature of your abilities. It is nearly impossible to get your hands on such weapons in the metaverse. They sure know an awful lot about us. Mm. Well, they're not wrong. It's not like we have access to EY's store from here. That said, how did these weapons get here? However, if they do not exist, then all you must do is build them from scratch. So, it's a, it's a crafting mechanic now. For this, I have a proposition. Allow me to make and prepare your weapons for you. I believe you have something called online shopping in your real world. Following a similar system, you can place an order with me and I shall deliver your goods directly to you. I will be adding new products in due time, so please make use of this service. Okay, well, an, uh, an idea cribbed directly from Strikers. Okay, that's all. Which means... No sign-off, huh? How mysterious. That last part wasn't me, by the way. They actually ended it. Okay, that's all. But more mysteriously, this person seems to understand your situation pretty well. Do you know who it might be? Literally, there's nobody who comes to mind. Oh, Lavenza, duh. I think we just met a bit ago. Wait, there's more to the letter. P.S. Please note that I will require payment. That is how deals work, do they not? And if you refuse... I will unleash the flames of the apocalypse and they will consume you whole, leaving no ashes in their wake. So, pony up or die. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. Now I'm even more curious who this person is. So in short, you can buy weapons from them as long as you pay, right? If that's the case, I'll show you where my secret stash is. Wow, she is really giving. It's meant to be the Rebel Corps' war funds, but we are in a partnership after all. Obtain 5k. You have my things. We really owe you, Arena. Allow us to return the favor with our future successes together. I wonder why Lady Love... I mean, I wonder why this unknown sender would go about this in such a roundabout manner. Well, no point in guessing. More importantly, it's great news for us. Uh, 
Let's be sure to use this service whenever we want to procure weapons, Gein. I'll take care of ordering the goods then. Come talk to me when you need anything. So they have uh, online shopping in this world too? Well, if they've got LeBlanc, of course they've got the internet. So, who is most important to get a weapon? New weapons available in the shop. Ranged weapons are available for purchase at the shop. The range of stock will improve as you progress through the story. Make smart use of the shop to ensure your success in battle. How about something more powerful? Uh... Let's... Replica Please, M pistol. Time. What is an M pistol? Replica model pistol? Whoa. Oh, but this is expensive. Who's got the lowest attack? What would you like? Ours is 17. Make sure Ours is 17, prepared. but it'll... At most, we can only get another 7 points. Please, take your time. His is 14, and at most, he can get another 6 points. Make sure but Arena will be able to blow people away. You have a good eye. Yeah. All right. That's it for that. Come back soon. Improving your units. In addition to your overall Phantom Thieves level, your units can be improved through their skill trees, their equipment, and more. The Phantom Thieves level is shared by everyone, and it increases their HP, SP, and melee attack power as it grows. You can always raise it by replaying missions via the replay option found in the hideout menu. So... That's how we can grind, by redoing stuff we've already completed. In the prep menu, you can view and equip various skills. In the equip menu, you can choose ranged weapons each unit will wield. Set off for battle only after thorough preparations. Start the next operation by selecting mission while in the hideout. The next battle prompt appears if the operation will involve combat. Once you start a battle, you will not be able to return to the hideout, so always prepare well before, um, before moving out. So that just means saving. Oh, there's something new to talk about. All right, well. Let's check it out. They're just looking at us. And we're just... Mm. We're just looking at them. So, about these people in the Rebel Corps... I know what you're thinking, Gein. What are these people really, right? Uh, are they really shadows? Hmm. Normally, we'd be able to infer that based on their appearance and behavior, but it's not working like that here for some reason. This could be related to the mysterious effect that Miss Lavenza told us about. What we do know is that they're not made of the same stuff as you humans are. So they are shadow alikes? I wonder if everyone who lives here looks like this. But then, why does Arena look like a normal person? So many questions we don't have the answers to yet. I apologize. Um, excuse me. me? What is it? Would you care for another cup of coffee while we wait for the captain? I have my things. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. At least they seem like they're not bad guys here. Let's put a pin in the questions and just go with the flow for now. All right. We should take up their offer and get some rest before the next operation. Although, could I have a saucer of warm milk instead? The fresher the better, please. I'm counting on you. Oh, and don't forget to cool it down to room temperature first. What's the point of it being warm if it's just going to be... Okay, 2 GP. But really, it's 6 GP because everybody gets some. In which case... Morgana... Is it really that easy? Yeah, we are not... We are not locked into anything. 
So we can basically change up our loadout as we like. But Morgana with 14 GP still doesn't have. We're one short. All right, that's all good. Better jot that down. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop a save here. And let's get that next mission. See who we're going to be rescuing. All right, let's go over the current plan. Take a look at this map. Pretty efficiently done. Hmm. I see. The whole city's surrounded by the castle's outer walls, huh? Yes, the hideout's marked here. We're in part of the city that's a fair distance from the castle. Hence why this place hasn't been razed to the ground, I guess. And here is the prison where they're holding your friends. Oh, wow. Okay. How do you plan for us to get there? It looks like, a well, I guess if we're a fair distance from the capital, then it's not a hop, skip, and a jump for us to that particular tower. Well, we certainly can't just travel the streets. Security is tighter than ever now. They've been after me for quite a while, but now they're looking for you two as well. So, I think the safest course of action is to make our way there along the top of the castle's outer walls. We're gonna... Okay, cool. Uh... Sounds kind of dangerous. Well, I certainly agree. Have you forgotten just how high those walls are? Heights are no problem. In fact, that sort of thing's one of our specialties. Are we going to actually traverse to get there? Or is it just going to spirit us to the next map? Like Fire Emblem. We don't call ourselves Phantom Thieves for nothing, right? Oh, good. Sounds like this strategy will play to your strengths. Hopefully we can find our friends and get them out of there before it's too late. Hopefully. Everyone, hang on just a bit longer. We're gonna be good to go. I'm certain of that. But I'm... Okay, yeah. Marie's Castle Wedding Chapel. Well, have you found those rats for me? I see. I wonder if she's about to punish this dude. Then every last man is absolutely pathetic. I want those three at my feet now. Yes, madam. I swear, how can they all be so useless? I mean, you weren't able to capture us either. Just as the ceremony was falling into place. The vermin start crawling in through the walls. All I need is the perfect wedding. Then everything I've ever wanted will finally be within my grasp. I wonder if something would actually happen were she to get married. Until that moment comes, anyone in my way is sure to regret it. Oh well, it's not like we're going to find out. in the mood now to try out my new little toys. Okay, so we're missing An and Futaba. That defiant little brat who escaped. Joker, was it? You are to find him and bring him to me. I want him alive. Got it? Your wish is our command, great Lady Marie. Soon, I'll have that arrogant brat within my grip once more. Are you sure about that? And this time, I'll crush him right in front of his friends! <laughs> okay, so we're probably not going to fight all of them at once. I imagine we're just going to get them two at a time. Town Ramparts. Okay, yeah. So this is just the next map. All right. Looks like we've all made it to the top. Ah. And we haven't been spotted yet. I hope we can keep this up. Although I may have spoken too soon. Did they see us? It didn't seem like it. Hmm. We've got lookouts. What now, Joker? Let's get him. Ah, 
Yeah, sounds like we're on the same page. I'm gonna get their attention. Everyone ready? Ready when you are. Okay, right into the fray. And I'm sure they're gonna introduce a new element too. Start battle, choose squad. Awards, each stage has a set of conditions that will grant you awards if successfully completed. You can confirm award conditions on the pre-battle screen by pressing square. Stars are used to represent different award conditions. Yellow star complete, gray star incomplete, X within a star, not possible to complete. So basically, there are gonna be missions we have to replay if we wanna get all the awards. You can also confirm award conditions via analysis. Attaining awards will grant you increased experience and money, so try to complete them whenever possible. Okay, well, hey. Five turns, no one KO'd, okay. All right. This seems very simple. No, here's the new element I was sure about. Restoration squares. Any unit that ends their turn on a neon yellow square will recover a moderate amount of HP. Make sure to use this to your advantage. So there are already heal tiles coming up. So let's... We want to knock them off of the heal tiles. Is there a reason I can't target Buddy Boy? I can't hit, I can't... I can't get them from, what? Okay, well. All right, that, uh... Oh, crap, I forgot. I forgot that it wasn't guns that knocked them out, it was Persona skills. All right. I, we have, a uh, do we have unlimited redos? Well, I guess I should probably limit my use of those. So let's do Shining Partisan. Not close enough. Forgot what to do. Okay, cool. And uh, with that, let's just light him up. Yeah, with her. What is that, a hand cannon? No. Enemy turn. Okay. It just left. Okay, turns left for award four. So, let's Persona Aha. No, okay, we're gonna actually switch to Morgana first. So the Morgana can Garu this guy closer to the other dude. Here I go. Nope. Here we go. We're about to blast them with an Aha. They are too far away. Crap. Show me what you got. Uh let's Arts Shining Partisan. I think we'll actually be able to Yeah, that little skull icon means we'll get the kill, I'm sure. So you're done. And she is a, uh, yeah, that's it for her SP. Let's gun him down. Firing. Took out an enemy. Nice. Keep is that another? Yep, one more. Uh, we can attack from the heal tile. Yeah, we just gotta cross it like that. Oh, we actually cannot reach him from there. In which case, 
Yeah. So you resist that too easy. All right. And at this stage, I'm sure we can just go crazy, right? That's it for you. Oh, okay. Look how big that one is! Careful, that's a very powerful legionnaire. They won't go down easily and will strike back whenever you attack it. So they've got repost. Very well. So what you're saying is, if you're reckless in attack when you're too close, you'll get a nasty counterattack in return. Alright. Yes, though they are vulnerable after their counterattack, that's the time to hit them. Revenger types. The first time these enemies are attacked, they will perform a counter instead of being downed. However, they are wholly defenseless after countering. Should you attack them again in the same turn, they will then be downed. Leave it to me. Okay, uh... Let's have Morgana... Gun him down. I can't help by my own Here I go. So you can't be too close to them when you're trying to get that... We went too crazy with the, uh... Get ready for the nice arena. Well, never mind. Gun him down! Right. Yes, it was such a good idea to get her this gun! That was a bit tough. Okay, so... We got a bunch of XP because of that. Cleared all three. So, how do we get more personas, though? That's what I want to find out. Good. That should do it here. I've got to know. Just what the hell are those things? They're legionnaires. The shadows of this place. Plus, your powers aren't working like usual either, are they? Uh, something's off here. Miss Lavenza didn't know what was going on either. That means we must have reached a really strange place. It seems you two are still feeling held back. I must say, you're certainly holding your own regardless. Yeah, we're getting the flow of things. That persona of yours. How'd you get that, if you don't mind my asking? Now, it's a very funny, very long story. It might take about a hundred hours to get everything down. Uh, everyone has one. Personas are the power of the heart made manifest. You should be able to summon one, too, if you try. Just like that? There were some, I mean, there are some conditions, but who's to say that Blue Butterfly hasn't appeared to Arena before now? Uh, really? Would you mind if I tried now? She really is just gonna do it, isn't she? That's what we do. Who goes there? <laughs> Sorry. She got into it. You can't blame her for that. Whatever. Let's pounce on them quick before they catch us. Yeah, I'm liking Arena quite a bit, actually. Mainly because of, well. With the other party members, Metis, you get to use, uh, whoa, this is a lot. As long as you can use this, uh, as long as you can use them in battle, then I'll like them. All right. Six turns, no one dies. Let's start. So, I actually want to open up three enemies ahead. A new tutorial. Ooh. I didn't even notice that there were no lyrics to the battle theme before now. I can't, I don't know if it's totally different, but all right, Golden. We've gotten into a good sync with Arena, so I think it's time to try out a new move. So there's fusion attacks here. Huh? New move? 
Yeah, a special one I've been saving for the right time. Just do exactly as I say, got it? Let's go. First up is Joker. Shoot the enemy that's in the middle to knock it down. Your turn. All right. We have to... Okay, gun. Let's gun him down. Nice hit! All right, they're down! Sound good? Okay, next we have to surround the downed enemy! Oh, it's an all-out attack. Okay. Ready. Is it triangle? Yes. What? What are we... What button are we supposed to hit? Oh, it's telling us to be right here. Okay. Mm. I'll stand here. And last is you, Arena. Once you're in position, we'll be ready. Hmm. Got it. I'm not sure what you have planned, but leave it to me. Here I go. Yes. All right. We're in a great position. Arena, follow our lead, will you? Gotcha. Let's go. Let's get this done, Joker. No. Triple threat. Let's go. Amazing. Wow, that was awesome. We beat them no problem. Well done. Yeah, you aren't too shabby yourself. Three people surround an enemy, then attack, huh? Talk about a powerful tactic. So I'm guessing, I'm sure we can use four people max in a map. So you have one people knock, him, uh, knock them down, and then the other three go in for the triple threat. And it might be even more effective if we can surround more enemies. Nobody's stopping the Phantom Thieves now. Let's keep this up and finish off the rest. Triple threat, all-out attack. Yeah, they're the same thing. A triple threat is an all-out attack that deals damage across a wide area. You can activate it by surrounding a downed enemy with all three of your party members and pressing R2 with the unit that is currently in a one more. The damage dealt by a triple threat is based on your unit's melee and ranged attack stats. If any of your units are inflicted with an ailment besides burn or despair, you cannot perform a triple threat. Pressing X will allow you to skip a triple threat animation. Okay, so let's go ahead and have him, can we, okay, we can persona it up, Garu to knock you back, will we be able to walk past Morgana or did we just block ourselves off? Uh, that's basically gonna be it. Uh, change selection. Oh, cool. Will it not let me not do anything if I could potentially attack somebody? There's nobody. Uh, okay. There's no line of... All right, well... And we can't go... Okay, let's go ahead and just line up behind Morgana. Resisted that, no problem. Now, can we walk past him? No, we blocked ourselves out. Okay. So, a unit that's currently in a one more. Let's do that. What to do here? Now, we can gun this dude down. Take that. Leave it to me. Now then. Let's do this. And then can we
Okay, so he's ready. Okay, the unit who's in the uh Hmm, and then we've got to what to do here. Leave it to me. Okay, I see. We have to be thinking about where Well, let's do it. Probably massive overkill, but And it doesn't consume Morgana's turn either. Uh, let's just have him gun this guy down. So, Arena is definitely super duper exposed. Blocked. Turns left for award six. Okay, let's just. Yeah, let's just light Buddy Boy up. You're done. So now that we're in a one more, how can we? We can't. We don't have a. We're too far away in order to really be able to light them up. So you're driven to despair. Actually, we probably should have... Now we're in the one... Okay. We got the one more. And Arena can't... We have nobody else we can get. Unless we can... Okay, uh, so friendly fire is definitely on. I'm glad he said something, because we would have lit him up. Well, we might as well just go ahead and go for it. Yeah, let's just kill Buddy Boy. That's the last guy. Dang. The whole point of this is to show us how to set up triple threats, and I wasn't able to do it. That's okay. There'll be more in the future. He is not trying to die. Morgana's uh, Garu sweeps away target. So we push him out with Morgana. Then we set up... Okay, then we set up the one mores. I think I'm I think I'm getting it. Nice going, Joker. That takes care of that. Hmm? There's something on the ground here. This it's a persona card, isn't it? A gear. I've never seen anything like that before. I wonder if one of the enemies dropped it? I suppose we can take it for now. Maybe Miss Lavenza knows something about it. Right. But so far, especially clearing it in six turns, Persona experience. I'm just now taking notice of that, so everybody can probably equip a sub for Mysterious Gears. I'm sure everybody can equip a sub-persona in this, just like the Q games, if there's a separate persona experience box. But we're gonna have to see all that. All right. Was that all of them? Yes, looks like it. I'm sorry. That was too careless of me. Thank you for jumping in like that. Don't sweat it. We know what it's like when things go south on you. Ready to go? Okay, we all ready to crash this prison? We got one more fight in us. Prison. We made it? That went surprisingly well. Agreed. Let's stay on our toes. No, let's uh let's keep our voices down. Huh? Hide. 
So that's a new type of enemy. But it looks like... Looks like we're in the clear. It might just be a stronger Revenger Legionnaire. You Phantom Thieves are in a whole different league. I could learn a thing or two from you. Just wait till you actually get a Persona. We try to find every advantage we can. Never take your opponent's head on unless you have to. And consider that your first lesson in Phantom Thievery. But it looks like you're getting the hang of it pretty quickly. Right, Joker? Yeah, she's on top of it. How would you like to join us? Oh, great idea. Want to become my next apprentice, Arena? So now she's going to get herself a moniker. <laughs> I'm honored, but I'm already struggling to keep up. Oh, I guess not just yet then. Right. So it's time for us to go ahead and get to fighting. Well, I still want to see what her persona is going to be. But these loading screens are interesting. And how long they are. 